very important news just came out. One of our players is leaving. He had a huge drop in performance last season and was unable to recover. As a result, the Raiders will not renew his contract. And the player already has a destiny with the Bengals. That's why you didn't expect Josh Jacobs to sign a contract with the Bengals. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel to receive daily Raider news. Las Vegas Raiders running back Josh Jacobs is preparing to hit free agency this offseason, and the chances of the Raiders franchise targeting him again appear slim. Jacobs said after the season that if Las Vegas kept Antonio Pierce as head coach, he would be much more likely to return. The Raiders did just that, so the door is certainly open for Jacobs. But his terrible performance doesn't help. 2023 was a difficult campaign, in which he rushed for 805 yards and 6 touchdowns, averaging just 3.5 yards per carry in 13 games. He also caught 37 passes for 296 yards. Even so, some teams are interested in him. Has the Bengals, along with the Green Bay Packers, as potential suitors for Jacobs. The Bengals hypothetically move on from running back Joe Mixon in this exercise, getting younger at the position with Jacobs. Cincinnati has fed Mixon carries and targets over the years, and Jacobs can carry the same load as a workhorse. Green Bay was reportedly one of the teams calling about Indianapolis Colts running back Jonathan Taylor before he finally signed an extension, and A.J. Dillon is a pending free agent. While Aaron Jones is still super efficient despite missing a lot of time in 2023. Playing with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and maybe even T. Higgins could get Jacobs back on track, which would be huge. If the Bengals think they can come close to the production the running back had just a few years ago, it will be a good deal for them and the Raiders.